What's going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today I'm discussing Smallfoot. Smallfoot is the brand new family featured kid film. It's an animated film from the trailers. It looked cute. It looked a little bit predictable and it looked a little bit generic, but it had a good cast in there and it looked fun. And let me tell you, that's exactly what you get. Whatever you think you're going to get out of this film, that's exactly what you're going to get. I'll be honest, it was better than I expected it to be, especially being me. I'm, I'm, it's not towards my demographic, but I enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed what this film was. And again, what you think you're going to get out of this film is exactly what you're going to get out of it. A predictable, fun family film that has you giggling and smiling at times and also enjoying the music within here. Something that actually surprised me, I did not know that there was actual musical cues into this. There's actually four original, four or three original songs in here that each and every one of them were really good. There was one that I was a little bit iffy on and I think that's the one that Common sings. It's kind of a rap and it doesn't really fit within the movie, but besides that, that that's something completely different. That's kind of my cons. I'm not getting into my pros yet. I mean, Smallfoot is about a Yeti who's convinced that these elusive creatures known as humans really do exist. And it's cool to get that perspective. You'll find this film that actually have a really good lesson towards the end of the movie for kids and even some adults could even know this. And it's all about integrity. It's all about lying and what is the truth and how do we do it? How do you tell the right person? I think there's nice little messages in here that didn't feel pushed into your face, but actually make you kind of, once you've what, finished the film, you're like, hey, that's a cute little message. I really like that. Like when animated films can actually center on that and not totally just shove it into your face. Some films do shove it into your face where you're just sitting there like, okay, I, I get the message. I, I want to enjoy the film. This film en makes you enjoy the movie, but at the same time, making you learn something. Another good thing is that the voice casting here is excellent. Usually when you're watching an animated film, you can kind of pick out the voices, but for me, all the voices kind of just seemed in there. And a lot of that goes to how much I was enjoying the movie. Channy Tatum plays Migo. He's the main Yeti in here. James Corden plays the main humans, and Dea's in here, Common, LeBron James, Danny DeVito, Gina Rodriguez. I mean, the cast goes down from there, but each and every one of them, I, I mean, the only notable one for me was Common. But that's only because of the rapping part. You kind of understand who he was, but everyone else does a really decent job and in a sense does a good job because they're blending their voices within this film and making you enjoy it. To be honest, I think the hands down the best part about this film is the animation. The animation is stunning. This film isn't cheaply made. It isn't cheaply produced. No, this film is amazing. Some of the best animation that I've seen all year long. And I really do mean that from all the fur on the Yetis. I, I can't imagine how long that took, but just the way it moves and everything like that. Yes, I pay attention to those small little details but those details really do mean a lot to me because I'm a huge fan of animation. I don't have kids yet, so this is totally on my opinion, but all the kids in the theater, all of them were relaxed, all of them were sitting down, and all of them were watching it, so that must be a good accomplishment from the director and writers of this. Again, Smallfoot. It's a predictable, but family feature kind of film. You know what you're going to get out of this from watching the trailers. There's some good musical cues in it. I will be honest are very catchy, are inside my head, and not annoying, which is a great aspect when you're making music for a kid's film. Voice cast was great, the animation is superb, and overall, Smallfoot is a very enjoyable film. It surprised me in that part, I didn't think I was enjoyed as much as I did. With all that said, I'm gonna give Smallfoot a B-. Tell me guys, what are you guys' thoughts on Smallfoot? Did you guys like this film? Did you see it yet? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Just so you guys know, this comes out next weekend, so make sure if you guys are looking forward to this film, to dock that date and to take your family and kids all to go see Smallfoot. So if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, even check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.